In SQL Studio, I have connections to all three of the servers we'll be working with. SQL 1, which is the principal, SQL 2, the mirror, and the witness instance. I'll start by right-clicking the Databases node under SQL 1 and choosing New Database. I'll enter XDSite 1 for the database name and click the Options link on the left. Zen Desktop requires a specific collation. I'll select Latin 1 General CIASKS. -S. It's important to ensure that we have the correct collation, especially CI for case insensitive, AS for accent sensitive, and KS for kanji sensitive. Now I'll click OK. Next, I'll expand the Databases node, right-click XD Site 1, and go to Tasks, Backup. I'll leave the backup type as Fool, and click OK. Next, I'll copy the backup file from SQL Server 1, to SQL Server 2. Now we'll go under the Databases node on SQL 2 and select Restore Database. I'll choose the option from Device and browse for the backup file. I'll ensure here that the Restore column checkbox is checked to restore the database. And now I'll click for the Options page. Here we need to ensure that we choose the option to restore with no recovery. Now we'll click OK. Now we're ready to set up the databases as mirrored. I'll right click XD Site 1 under the SQL 1 instance and go to Tasks Mirror. To start the wizard, I'll select Configure Security. I'll click Next on the first screen and choose Next to include a witness server. Click Next again. I'll click Next on the Principal Server Instance screen to accept the defaults. On the Mirror Server Instance screen, I will select SQL 2 and Connect. Now click Next. For the Witness, I'll connect to the Witness Server. and click Next. Here in the Service Account screen, I'll type Training SQL Service as the service account for all of our instances. Note that SQL Service has already been created as an account, and it is the service account for each one of the instances. There's a corresponding instance login for this account, though note that the logins would be created automatically if needed. Refer to Microsoft SQL Server documentation for further details on service accounts and the required permissions. Now I'll click Next. I'll review the settings and click Finish. The endpoints are now being configured for mirroring and the process has completed. And now I'll click Start Mirroring to begin the mirroring process.
you can see here under the status that it's synchronizing. And when I click refresh, now it's synchronized. The databases are in a fully synchronized state. Now I'll click OK. This completes the mirroring setup. We can see that the principle shows is synchronized. And on SQL 2 for the mirror, it shows as in recovery, which is normal. Now let's test the failover process. I'll right click on the SQL 1 node, our principle, and select stop to stop the service. Now when I refresh under the SQL 2 node, we can see that it's become the principle and we're in a disconnected state. Now I'll start back up SQL 1. And when I refresh the node, we can see that now SQL 1 is designated as the mirror. To swap the roles back, I simply go to the principal, which is now SQL 2, and select Tasks, Mirror. Now I'll choose Failover. Upon refreshing both of the nodes, we now see that the SQL 1 instance is again hosting the database as the principal, and SQL 2 is designated as the mirror. This proves that the failover is working correctly, as our witness server observed the failover and was able to successfully transfer the role.